Hi, Bill Bolden, Chief Technology Officer of Clearview Social here with in-depth queue building walkthrough. And this video is for you if you just finished the queue basics video and want to learn more, or if you're a Clearview Social Administrator who wants to understand building queues in depth and make sure you're using all the tools at your disposal. So right now, we're looking at the Build Queues page in the software, and there's a lot to this page. Because queues are central to Clearview Social, there might be more to discuss on the Build Queues page than any other page in Clearview Social. What do you see when you come to Build Queues? Well, the first thing you're going to see is existing draft and approved queues. This is where queues live that haven't gone out yet. When queues go out, they will move from building queues to queue engagement so you can see how they were engaged in the past, but that's for another day. So there's building a new queue up here or continuing work on a draft queue or an approved queue that hasn't gone out yet. And I can see information on these queues, such as who's making them, what their subject line is, how many stories are in, what groups they're going to, and when they are going to be sent. But for now, let's build a new queue from scratch. Build a queue. So after clicking build new queue, we're presented with this, a blank queue ready to be filled with items, given properties, and sent to the team. And I'm gonna walk you through the different elements of this queue as we fill the whole thing out. First, let's take a look up here, the queue title. This is what the queue will be referred to as in the user interface going forward. So later when you go look for that queue in a data report or an export or in queue engagement, you'll recognize it by this name. It's also going to be the subject line that appears in people's email inboxes when you send it. So you're gonna to wanna to give it something eye-catching and also informative that says what's inside. Like, here is a blog post to share by Jason, or please share this great news about our quarterly event. It's good to vary these because we've found through our data that people open queues more often when they have varied names. Now let's take a look at a pair of options that will affect how, when, and to who your queue will send. Share date and sharing to. So once you approve this queue by clicking approve queue down here in the corner, your queue is going to move from a draft into an approved status. Once it's approved, it will go out at this share date. So you can always set this ahead in the future if you wanna build a queue and say, don't send this until 5 p.m. today. Go ahead and use the calendar control to make that the case. If you're impatient, there's no reason that you can't always use the send immediately button to just send the queue this instant. Although, choose it wisely. Sharing too right here will let you choose groups of users, which are subsets of users, smaller than everyone, to receive your queue. So perhaps you have many different practice teams or departments of your company, and you say, well, this is an SEC filings queue. I really only have to send this to the finance team, right? So you can choose some small subsets of your company to receive this. Of course, you can also send to everyone. It's time to actually put some content into the queue. In this case, I have a very interesting article about a class action lawsuit being filed against Chipotle. So let's pretend that we want our whole team to share this because we work in uh, food safety law or something interesting like that. Let's go ahead and take the URL, that's the internet address of this article, and copy that. We're gonna head over to the queue and paste that into the paste a link to add to this queue box and add it. Now it's going to chug for a few seconds while our server goes and scrapes that website looking for the best possible image, title, and description it can put on this item. Now if any of the image, title, and description aren't to your liking, this is your chance to perfectly sculpt them and curate them before this is shared by a hundred different people on your team. Sometimes it doesn't pick a very good image or it will use the image of a stock photo or an advertisement instead of something that's actually relevant to the article. Now in this case, I believe, I have a hunch, that maybe instead of the window of a Chipotle store, 
more people will find this article readable if I include a tasty burrito. So for sake of argument, I'm going to upload a different image to go with this share. One moment. All right, I've obtained an image of a burrito. I'm gonna use the paper clip to attach it. Choose it from my downloads folder. And now it's time to fit it into the size frame that it will be once it appears on LinkedIn. There are little plus and minus buttons and you can drag it around to fit it into the frame. This is the size of LinkedIn's window. Twitter and Facebook are more flexible, so they'll just follow LinkedIn's lead. So by making it this size, I'm able to fit the entire burrito into the window and I'll click finish. There we go. Now I've edited this item to have some new properties. Oh, now you can add any amount of items to a queue. There is not a limit. However, our best practices is between two and five items in a queue. Usually a mix of some content produced by your organization, like your own blog posts, press releases, or announcements, and then some industry news to go with it. Uh, to keep this tutorial brief, I'm only going to include the one. Now the final step of sending a queue is adding a message for your team. So when your queue goes out, your face will appear at the top of it, giving instructions and context to everybody. Give them some information like, why are they receiving this email? Why does it matter that they share this article? So in this case, I'm going to say something like, mm, ah, yes. So this is actually a rich text editor. You can go ahead and do things like include bullet points, italicize, bold, underline text, and you can give people some information. You know, why this link? Why does it matter that I share it? And in this case, I'm pointing out that it's about a fun and engaging topic while still being related to food safety class actions. Okay, now I'm not gonna send this for real because my team doesn't actually have to share the latest burrito news. It's not in our practice area at Clearview Social, but I am going to test send a preview to myself, the most important step. Then we're going to head over to my email and take a look at what it looks like before I take the trigger on sending immediately. Mm. Now here we are over in my email. This is what it looks like. The subject line is the title of the queue. Here's me. Here's my message telling people why it's important to share it. And here's the item. When someone clicks share, they'll be taken into the software and then told, look, this is going out to your social media networks. Everything is all ready for them. Okay, that concludes advanced queue building walkthrough tutorial. See you next video.